So by using this system in just three months, you can supercharge your C grades and B grades to A and A star grades. So today I'm gonna go through my four step procedure for getting those grades higher. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what guarantee if I follow this system is going to get me those A and A star grades? Well, a lot of my community have already done that in the last couple of years. So if you check out the comments right in front of you, you can see lots of my community have gone from those C to A grades, B to A star grades. And essentially they followed the system I'm gonna outline today. So if you go through this carefully, you followed the advice, then in three months time, you could be confidently going going to the exam thinking, I've got that A and I've got that A star. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step of the system is to review what you know. So at this point in the cycle, you have completed the course, you've gone through every single topic, and now you've got that three months to get up to that A and A star. So the first thing you need to do is look at the top 10 topics of your course. Now I've done a video for you that goes through exactly those things. So you can look at the all of IGCSE 058 maths course, which I've done a two hour video on that goes through those top 10 topics. Or if you're doing the 0607 course, I've done exactly the same thing over two hours. Because these are the most important topics that come up the most often. So you need to go through that video and make sure you look at all 10 topics. Now, once you've done that process, then it's looking and focusing on those topics of weakness. So say, for example, you struggle with the transformations topic, which comes up a lot on both courses and on paper four. Well, I've done the hard work for you. I have put together an all of IGCC transformations video, which goes through about 50 minutes of as many past paper questions as I can find on that particular topic. So this gives you a chance to really go through all the details of that topic, making sure you're really happy and really focus on the style of question they could give you on transformations. So that's number two here, make sure you focus on that particular topic of weakness. Now, once you've gone through those topics of weakness, that could be three or four from that 10 video, maybe volume and surface error as well. Then step three, I think it's an important step to put in here before we go on and look at other weaknesses. And that is complete a paper two or complete a paper four or preferably both. And at this point in the cycle, because you've gone through those top 10 topics, you're gonna be getting at least 40, 50% of the paper correct. You're gonna feel comfortable with 40 or 50% of the content. And it's important here to really have that boost to your mathematical confidence and have that feeling of, well, I'm already working at that, say, B grade, for example. Now, where can you find past papers? Well, I've done a video on this. I'll put one, a link in the description above so you can go through that yourself and find those past papers. Again, any past paper really from 2017 onwards would be suitable. Just make sure you don't do anything on histograms because that's been taken off the course, for example, for 0607. So once you've completed that paper two and paper four, you are strengthening those top 10 topics, but then you need to make a list of the next topic of weakness. So the first thing to concentrate on, of course, is the top 10 topics. So go back to the videos that we looked at in step one. Once you're happy with those top 10 topics, then we're gonna look at those, what I call second tier topics. Now, what do I mean by that? Generally, these are things like sets and Venn diagrams, vectors, circle theorems. So they come up frequently every Every year but they don't make that top 10 topics so the way we're going to go through this is we've done the top 10 topics now we're going to look at the topics that come up very very often the topics on the board that you see now if you check out the playlist above I go through all of IGCSE vectors I go through all of IGCSE circle theorems I go through all of IGCSE trigonometry so you can practice those second tier topics once you've done that review cycle, then we go back to step three here and complete another paper two and another paper four. And at this point, you're getting 60 or 70% of the paper quite secure. And then you're heading towards that A grade at this point. Now we go back to step four again, which is the next topic of weakness. Once you're happy with the top 10 topics and these so-called second tier topics, then we then look at 
individual topics. So we look at a topic that doesn't come up maybe frequently, but we need to revise. A good example of this would be interior angles, for example. And now you can focus your revision on really specific topics of weakness that could make the difference then between your A grade and then your A star. So what we're doing here for the A star grade cycle is, first of all, the planning stage. So the planning stage is using those top 10 topics. Then the do stage of that, which is go through my video to make sure that you've got those secure, or at least you can identify where those weaknesses are. Then this is in the check cycle at this point. So you're reviewing what topics you found difficult, and then you're acting on that by using the All of IGCSC playlist. So by doing these four steps and going around in this uh, improvement cycle, you act, you plan, you do, you check, and it goes around and around. Again, you're building up then your expertise from a B grade, then to an A grade, and then to an A star grade. And now you know my IGCSE system, there is one very important point at this point that's going to really push you over the edge into the A star, and that is the commitment. Now, what do I mean by the commitment here? Well, I want you to post in the comments below that I'm going to commit to this system. So I'm going to spend the three months following this video, following the advice through, and by writing in the comments, by writing it out there, by getting support from the community here as well, you'll feel much more motivated to stay the course even when it gets dark outside, you're tired from school, but you've put that commitment out there, you put it out there in the community, and by supporting each other, we can make sure that we follow this system, and that's going to help you get that A and A star grade. Best of luck.